Okay, so today we'll be taking a look at this uh, tiny uh, temperature and humidity sensor from Xiaomi. So specifically in the model is LYW uh, SD03MMC, right? Uh, it will be part of the documentation that I link at the bottom. Uh, this is a uh, temperature and humidity Bluetooth sensor and the aim here is to use an ESP32 to connect this, um, to grab this data and push it into a uh, home assistant, right? So first I'll jump into uh, the, what do you call it again? Uh, app right uh, to configure these so you have to flash a custom firmware into these so that they send out the signal to be picked up by uh, your ESP32 before pushing it into home assistant okay so I will be using home assistant together with ESP home uh, to get this done okay so let's jump into uh, the firmware Okay, so in order to get this to work, you will need to reference this uh, GitHub repo. Okay, uh, there is a pretty concise readme here where it tells you what's compatible. There is a video that he did on it as well. Uh, feel that there is just a bit mm, under explanation in some areas that I stumbled with. Okay, so then there's a the whole like how this works and all that. So what you need is um, first the custom firmware so um, which would be here oh, where is it ah uh, yeah okay so just click on this download whatever is the latest one uh, you need to download it on the device that you're going to use to flash the firmware so i'm going to be using my phone so you download it on your phone uh, then also you could use his right uh but it's also you can also use um uh, where does he say it there, there there is another repo that you can use uh if you uh, there's another guy that wrote uh a different implementation of it which uh does optimize things a little bit so it's up to you how you want to do this right uh, then you'll need this link to the flasher which is this okay so once you get to this page okay you will need a device that has bluetooth on it so uh, to make life easy typically you would just use your phone or something of that sort okay um, which i am going to show here okay so if you have a phone um, with that link there okay with that, that this link okay just copy it over somehow or other right uh what you need to do is uh to click connect okay make sure you have your bluetooth and all on right you click connect it will then start scanning all the bluetooth devices within the area uh mine shows up as atc already because i've actually already flashed them and i have two here so i'm just going to show you uh based on what I have here okay so you select uh, your device okay uh, if it's unknown or unsupported it's not the correct uh, device okay so from there you hit pair all right then what you do is you click uh, do activation which will activate it and then you get your ID and all this which you want to keep a copy of depending on how you want to do things right so you do activation okay uh, then you will have to choose your file so this is the file that you downloaded from here earlier all right um, this oh yeah they, 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 this is the other guy that did it so this is uh, pvvx uh, so there's two two methods you can do this right so yeah okay uh, once you're choosing your file you just click start flash and that's it you can scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll give you a log of everything if it's successful or not once that is done, right, uh, you then come down here to the settings. Okay, from here you can turn off the smiley and all that, but that's not what we care about. We want to set this advertising type, right, to custom. Okay, then, uh, so you hit custom, you would say settings are sent successfully. 
uh, then you want to click save. Okay, if you don't click save, the settings don't hold. Uh, yeah, then you can also change the interval if you want to save your battery life. Uh, like 10 minutes would give you data points, 10 minutes of part, which is quite long to me. Uh, I do five minutes, but, uh, where to me that's the best balance point, right? You can also adjust your set points, right? If you need an offset uh, for your temperature and humidity, uh, if you know the exact value and from there you want to um, correct it, right? So you can do all this here. Once you're done, hit uh, save current settings of flash. Your display would show you program for a few seconds and once that's done, uh, you're good to go. Okay, so the way I'm going to do it is not using the me token and pine key. Uh, if you do me like for advertising type, you will need to keep this. Uh, keep this. All right. So I'm going to jump to uh, ESP32. Okay. If you just do a quick search of ESP Home. Uh, the Xiaomi sensors, you give you a list of supported sensors and the one we're looking at here is this one, right? So specifically this um, model number, okay, if yours is different, it probably won't work. Uh, okay, so you can follow these instructions as well where you need to get the bind key for one or you can use the ATC, okay, which is what I'm using, or you can use the PVVX. Uh, yep, and you set it custom or PVVX depending on which firmware you used, right? So from here, this is the information you need, okay? So if you did a me like uh, earlier, I did say something about keeping the pine key, you need this. If not, uh, you just need the bank address, okay? So that's that. Mac address, you can find it using an app or, uh, yeah, the easiest way is just to use an app or your phone to scan the Bluetooth Mac addresses, right? So I'll show you a sample code and uh, once all is said and done, uh, just prove that you can pull the sensors. Okay, give me a second. Okay, so here is the sample code. So I have this called as home. Uh, you put in your Wi-Fi, SSID and password, right? Then all these leave it be. So once again, uh, as my, for my other videos, you can set a static address, which I would normally do. Uh, from here, you just put in the sensor. Okay, this is as per earlier that document right put in your mac address uh i'm using the atc so if you were using uh pvvc what it uh, you put that here just follow the documentation uh, and these are your names so change them accordingly okay uh, so battery voltage battery voltage just name it uh, as you need then at the bottom just uh, this is just the status of the sensor itself so uh, once it's done right just upload it into ESP home uh, and then flash your um, what you call it your ESP32 okay once that's said and done you would end up with your logs uh, once you've imported everything and set it up in home assistant yep you would then be able to view your logs of your temperature and humidity over time and all's good so if you have anything to ask, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, I will try to leave as many links to the resources that we used in the description below. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.